In this video, we're going to talk about a phone specifically created for the blind and visually impaired. That's the Blind Shell Classic Phone. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible, and as I mentioned before, today we're going to be talking about the Blind Shell Classic Phone, which is specifically made for the blind and visually impaired. It's completely accessible, and it has auditory and verbal feedback, as well as large print. It's really easy to use, and it's a really great option for those looking for an easy and accessible solution. But hey, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do videos on technology, tips, resources, and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, and sighted supporters. So please subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like these. So here's the phone, and thank you to Blindshell for sending me a phone to review. In the box, it comes with a phone, of course, as well as a charger and a pair of headphones, a quick start guide, some QR code stickers for the object tagging, which I'll explain a bit later on, so it has a 2.8 inch TFT display, which you can actually turn off like the screen curtain for iPhone and the dim screen for Android, which is pretty neat. And you can do that in the setting. So below the screen, it has these physical buttons, which are really tactile. And it's kind of like this candy bar, older style phone. It's approximately 5.2 inches high by 2.2 inches wide by three quarters of an inch thick. So I have the red version and it is red on the back. It actually has this really nice texture on the back. It's plastic, but it's textured, so it doesn't pick up fingerprints as much, even though I can't really see the fingerprints anyway. <laughs> it is smaller than the smartphones that we have today, but it feels just right in the hands. It feels really nice, actually. You can definitely use this with just one hand and reach all the buttons. It comes with four gigs of internal storage and you can use it with a micro SD card. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. It has voice control, voice dictation, speed dial, internet radio, FM radio, a camera where you can add voice descriptions of all your photos, an SOS button on the back. You do have to set it up, of course, before you use it. It has alarm, timer, stopwatch, calendar, notes, voice recorder, calculator, weather, dictionary, email, music, and a book player, color identifier, localization where it can tell you where you are, and object tagging. You can use these stickers that it comes with, put them on an object you want to label, and you can make audio labels, scan them with your phone, and once you get to that item, you can scan it, and it will play back what you recorded as a voice label for that object. This is really similar to the pen friend and the label wand and things like that, which can be very helpful. And of course, you can call and text your contacts. So let me just describe and explain the layout of the phone. So the screen is on top at the front and below that is a keyboard. And so there's a four directional keypad and there's the OK button in the middle, and then the top left, there's the volume down, and the top right, volume five. it's the volume up. The button below the volume down, which is the second button on the left, is the call button, or it's another OK button. And the button under the volume up button on the right is the end call or the back button. Below those buttons is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then star, zero, pound. And on the top edge is where you can find the headphone jack as well as the charging port. And it uses a micro USB cable. At the bottom edge is a, some holes where you can attach a loop or a lanyard on it in case you want to put it around your neck or your wrist or something like that. There are no buttons on the left side and no buttons on the right side. It does come with the battery out of the case. It's pretty easy to uh, put in. You just pull it the back up. Here's the battery. You can pull the battery out and you can put your SIM and a micro SD um, under the battery. You can feel some springs in the inside part of the phone in the battery compartment on the bottom. And if you feel around the battery, you can feel the contacts so that you can orient where to put the batteries in. So I'm gonna put them back and put 
the cover back on it just clicks into place and to power it on you just press and hold the end call button or the back button and it says blind shell and it does a little chime for you which is which is really cute and it takes you straight to the menu. So a lot of these buttons have one function when you press them once um, and then a different function when you press and hold them. It's really easy and intuitive. Um, once you're on the main screen, the, you press the left and right arrows to go through the menu. Messages, two of contacts, three of nine. More applications, four of nine. Settings, five of nine. Information about state, six of nine. Manual, seven of nine. No missed events, 8 of 9. Turn off the phone, 9 of 9. Call, 1 of 9. If you want to select something, just press the OK button in the middle of the directional keypad or you can also press the call button. It's another confirm button which is under the volume down button. So I'm Dial going to press contact, the middle and again it'll take you to another menu and then you can scroll through the menu just using the left and right arrows. Dial number, call history, 3 of 4. To exit, you can press the end call button or the back button. If you press this button once, it'll go back one screen. And if you press and hold it, it'll take you back to the main menu. Call one of nine. You can change the voice and speed in the settings and you can also change the color scheme. I personally like the white on black, but they have different color options and sizes to choose from. And you can also choose if you want icons or just text or if you want the icons and text which is how it is right now. There's also a simplified mode if you want to try that out and you can change all these and more in the settings. So if you noticed while I was scrolling through the menu it tells you Call one, of nine. one of nine. So it tells you what number it is in the list of items on the menu and you can actually use this as a shortcut. So say I wanted to go to other applications and I knew just by experience that it is number four in the list. So I can press number four More applications, four of nine. and then I can press the OK button. Tools, one of four. And that helps because you can do things a lot faster just by using the shortcuts. But another option that you can do is use the voice control, which I really like. You can press and hold one of the volume buttons and just talk. I listen after a beep. Open alarms. Opening alarm. New alarm, one of one. So it just takes you straight to the application that you want. And this works for calling, for messaging, for all sorts of things, opening calendar or making an event and a lot more. If you press and hold this when you're in a text field, well, let's go to notes. So I listen after a beep. Open notes. Opening notes. Add note one of two. So I'm going to add a note. I'll press the OK button. Text. And now it just says text, so I'm going to press and hold the uh, volume button. Hello, this is just a test. Hello, this is just a test. So it vibrates to let me know that it recognized what I was saying and then I press the OK button and it inputs the text and reads it back to me. If you ever want to repeat what it said, you can press the down arrow text. Hello, this is just a test. And it'll repeat it for you. If you want to hear what time it is or the battery or things like that, the date maybe, you can use voice control, but you can also press the up arrow. 1706, Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019, 1 of 5. And then you can press the left and right arrows for more information like Wi-Fi state, connected, signal strength, Network battery state, 18%, 405. Another really cool thing is with the camera. So I'm going to open the camera with voice control. I listen after a beep. Open camera. Opening camera. So it's beeping to let me know that it's ready to take a picture. So let's just take a picture of the box. So you can press the OK button. Save image, one of two. And press the OK button again to save the image. Record a short description now. 
This is a picture of the blind shell classic phone box. Image has been saved. Camera images one of two. So if I go into the camera images, image one of eight. This is a picture of the blind shell classic phone box. It will play the voice description that I created when I took the picture, which I think is really cool because, you know, a lot of the time when you're blind or visually impaired, you might not remember what that picture is. And so having that um, auditory description is very, very helpful. So those are the highlights of the phone. And so what are my thoughts? Well, first, let's talk about a few places where I'd like to see improvement. First, I'd like to see a better screen, uh, maybe an OLED or an LCD screen that just will help improve the contrast. Also, a better camera never hurts and it would definitely help for the color reader. But with all that said, this is a really great option for people who aren't very tech savvy or don't quite want to jump onto a smartphone or for seniors or for just people in general who want something that's simple and easy to use. I will say that I love the combination of having buttons as well as voice control. I think that's a really great mix for people who are blind or just people in general. Technology has gone so far and there's so much accessibility when it comes to smartphones, but <laughs> there's nothing like pressing a physical button. It just, there's just something about that. I wasn't able to test the calling or the messaging, things that had to do with the mobile network because I do not have a SIM for this. It's officially launching for the NFP convention from July 7th to 12th. And if you're interested or if you want more information, definitely go to the Blind Shell website, which I will link below. And if you do end up getting this phone or if you know somebody who has this phone, leave a comment down below and share your experience. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.